Timothy Michael Foley works in oil, acrylic, and drawings. His various styles and genres include Impressionism, Surrealism, and Cubism. My name is Timothy Michael Foley, and I'm a visual artist. I've been painting oils for 19 years, and the past five years I've been doing mostly acrylics. And I also have done steel sculpturing using conduit wire. So I've been doing it 26 years since 1995 when I took my first art class at Plymouth State University. What I really enjoyed the most is creating paintings uh, in genres such as Impressionism, abstract paintings, uh, cubism to a certain degree, pointillism to a certain degree, and surrealism, and a bit of realism lately. I tend to get images off the internet of various scenes, such as landscapes, flower gardens, uh, gazebos, almost anything that catches my eye on the internet and I think I can paint, I turn around and create a version of that image by myself, and that's satisfying to me as well. Oils I did for a long time, they take a lot of time to dry. Once they're painted, they could stay wet for a week or longer. Usually I'd paint um, one a week, a large 24 by 36 canvas of the oils. And I did that for many years. And then maybe three to five years ago, I started with acrylics. The acrylics dry much faster. They dry pretty much within an hour. So I don't have to worry about doing a painting and then finding a spot so it doesn't get wet on anything with the oils. Sometimes my process is drawing first, and then I continue with the pro process and paint that image with acrylics and then the painting becomes much more vibrant with the color palette that I use, which is pretty much straight out of the tube. I mix my own colors, but I don't water them down, the acrylics. And that's pretty much how I process each painting and do them. It's been enjoyable for the past 26 years for me. You know, I, I have, online at Fine Art America, like 1,700 images. Most of them are, are legitimate paintings. Some of them are in stages like drawings and then paintings, and some are just drawings on there, but I probably have still uh, about 1,300 paintings that I have. I stored them all in a storage unit, which I just emptied out, and I brought them all back to my apartment. And I have a room where I was able to stack them all up. Originally, when I moved into my apartment some 10 years ago, I, uh, I had a nice setup in this small room off the living room. And I, I, paint, I painted off of a, a drafting board easel and it was kind of low, but I would do, do most of my paintings off of that, but that's become an art piece as well. I painted the whole top of it with oils and then acrylics. Usually I, I paint in my living room. I have a couple easels that I set up. Sometimes I stand up and paint. Sometimes I sit down and paint. Depending on the size of the canvas, I can paint from easels really quick. And if I'm doing a landscape or something from the internet, I can look at the image to the right of me and do the painting like that with the canvas in front of me and the palette right down in front of me as well. I work quick with my art. Like I usually, lately I've been doing like 11 by 14s or 16 by 20s. Whatever I'm painting, usually it takes me four to five hours to do because I may, I, usually I don't 
have a preconception of what's gonna it's gonna turn out to be unless I do paint from an image online. Starting off, I, I don't really sketch out ideas sometimes. Sometimes I just start painting and the painting evolves into what it is meant to become, I guess. I also have about 250 videos that I've made or where I take pictures with my cell phone during the process of painting. So I get like, I don't know, 10, 12 images of each color as I layer it. And then I turn those into like 12 second videos that show the progress. And I do that all on my computer and it just layers up and it's pretty cool, I guess, to be able to do all of that. And I haven't really seen too many people do that like I do, where they layer photos in a motion that shows the, the creation of the piece. Uh, my influences throughout the years, I surrealism, it would be Salvador Dali. He was the first artist that I really liked when I was younger. And I admired his precision, but also the disturbing paintings that he would do. And then I enjoy, I enjoy Manet and Monet, which are impressionists, and Pablo Picasso, who's an, a cubist painter. And having um, art history as part of my major, I, I've studied uh, a large number of artists uh, while I was in school and continued to create a style of my own that people might appreciate in life. I have a couple of favorites that are large paintings that one of them I did in 97, which is probably a 36 by 48 painting. And I have another one that is probably a 30 by 40 painting that I did in 1998. Uh, my style has changed over the years. Those two, two paintings were really precisionly made and are really surreal. I've just evolved trying different things. You know, my style has evolved as I've evolved painting. I mean, anyone can paint, you know, it's not hard. If somebody came to me and said, oh, how did you start? I would definitely tell them that practice and persistence are key factors in getting better at your art. Even, even if a piece doesn't turn out the way I like, it's still progress. You just keep, gotta work at it to get better at it. That's kind of the thing with most, most things. Yes, I find art very therapeutic. When I'm painting, I'm focusing on that painting and everything else kind of goes to the wayside. And it's like escapism to me. You know, I see things in the artwork that I create, like even, even not my artwork, but I see figures and certain things. And, but when I'm painting, it's, it's really exciting because, you know, it's, especially if I'm doing like an abstract or something far out there, I get to just watch the evolution as I do it. And I don't believe, I, I don't think I do it alone. Like I have a higher power, you know, and I believe that this passion of mine uh, is more than a hobby, but for now it's, it's, it's just, you know, something that I do as often as I feel inspired. Yeah, I'd just like to say that, you know, I'm happy to be doing this art week this year um, in Nashua and the chance to show my work and uh, the pro progress that I made over the years and uh, show it to people that might be interested in it. I appreciate 
people who enjoy fine art and art history and and the visual arts, you know, that's what I enjoy doing. So that's what I do when I can. To find my artwork online, you can find me at fineartamerica.com. Thank you for joining our virtual art week. City Arts Nashua appreciates the support of our sponsors and of you, our viewers. Please continue to support our local artists and our musicians and our theater groups. For more information on arts in Nashua, visit cityartsnashua.org.